Hey YouTube, this is Michael with Zone Robotics again. Today we're going to talk about how to connect a camera up to your WRT node. So there's a couple different connections that you can see here. There's the power connection, there's the USB host connection, and then there's the connection that actually powers the WRT node. So I'm just going to unplug the connection to power and plug in my camera right here just to be sure that it's going to work and then plug the power back in and then we'll just wait uh, see we'll clip this guy to something put this right here so if we get it working it'll be looking at the inside of the WRT node box so I can see I got my blue light on I'll go ahead and see if I can connect to it again disable my Wi-Fi enable my Wi-Fi and waiting for it it's a lot of access points in my area so we've connected to the WRT node now I am connecting to it as an access point so this would be a little bit different if you wanted to connect through your um, through your network to it, but just for easiness, let's go ahead and connect to it as an access point, and I'm going to SSH into it, root at 192.168.8.1, and enter, and not my password, okay. So now if we do a LS USB, we have two devices. Normally if you don't have a camera plugged in, you just have one. So I know one of those devices is more than likely the camera. Let's go ahead and just LS dev and see what kind of devices we have connected. And I see here there's a video zero, which that's my camera. So I'm not sure whether this is a um, a camera that can stream JPEG images or not but I'm pretty sure that it's gonna stream raw because it was a really cheap camera so I'm gonna tell you guys something set uh, in it.d mjpeg streamer so you have to edit the the startup script for the mjpeg stream streamer and make sure you pass the Y argument in now the easiest way to do that is just right here on this line at a minus Y. So that'll tell it to work in raw mode. So I just added that minus Y, um, colon right quit, exit out of there. So now we also have to edit the configuration. Config, and you'll notice most things with the open WRT are pretty much the same. So let's just change the option to hit I so I can edit change enabled to one everything else looks pretty much okay right quit okay so let's go ahead and try and start it uh, init.d mjpeg streamer uh, oh the start okay so if I want to see if it's actually running I can look at my processes and grip pig so I can see here that it's it's actually running, so that's good. If it's not running, you might be using a uh, a camera that does not support the raw output. Most of your cheap ones are that's all they support, so you'd have to remove that Y. So let's go ahead and take a look and see if we have the camera up and running. 2.168.8.1.8080, just in uh, Firefox. So you get the full page that shows you all of the um, all of the different ways that you can stream this. Uh, the one that I found works pretty good is just the normal stream, and you can click here; it'll put it in your page and make it a little bit smaller. So here you can see I'm looking at the inside of the the box at the WRT node business card that comes with it. Let me. Oh, and you can just see a static picture too. So some things you might want to do afterwards is go ahead and see there I'm moving it. It's 
pretty slow you can work with the settings and change them all around um, within your WRT node mjpeg streamer config and you guys remember this file in here so if I wanted to um, edit this configuration file I could go in here and I could do something like uh, I maybe I want it to be really fast uh, 3 by 240 and I'll put that up to 20 frames per second not that I'm going to get 20 frames per second and then I just restart this service Okay. alright so it should have restarted by now we go home and uh, JavaScript and if we move this card around you can see it's a lot more responsive now at that 320 by 240 and we have a working wireless webcam if I wanted to connect through my own home network I could IF config and see that I'm actually on on my home network it's at 2.14 so I could just go 2.14 and visit the same exact page through my um, home network and you see there it is working through my home network so you can access it through either ways now if this doesn't work more than likely that's because you haven't set up your firewall as in my other video so that's it for now please let me know any questions in your comments I'll try and help out and let me know what kind of other stuff you guys are interested in and I'll try and make a video about it